Welcome back to the channel for what must be the biggest rig review we've done. I'm excited to have Andrew from OnTrack and his incredible 6x6 Y62 Patrol. It's an impressive machine. Where did the inspiration come from? This was something that we dreamt up of, I should say, um, to build something that no one else has, to put the Y62 on another level again. Yeah, I've never seen, there's a couple of obviously land cruisers from the other team getting around that have done the 6x6, but I've never seen a Y62, so this is genuine world first. Yeah, so we've gone out of the box with this. We wanted something with independent rear suspension, whereas the other team have gone all live axle. I couldn't imagine how many hours we've gone into it and being one of one, you probably haven't kept count. Nah, it's just one of those things we just got stuck into it and we did it and yep. every, every team member had their part in, yep. in making the thing and from yep. tie fitters to chassis fabricators to tray builders to paint shop. We saw it at the 4x4 show and it grabbed everyone's attention and I knew that we needed to get it in to, to take a look. but. Our history goes back, your white Series 1 Y62 was one of the very first that we ever supercharged. But you've been a Nissan man your whole life. On track's been around for over 20 years. Yeah, that started a while ago with, with a green GQ ute that we did a lot of short course stuff and yep. bits and pieces like that around Victoria, around Australia, I should say. Comp, ra comp truck racing. Comp truck racing, yep. yeah. So um, that sort of led us down a path that we yep. are now. So no stranger to boosting, this rig's obviously supercharged, so let's, let's take a look at the engine bay. So it started life as a standard Y62, it's got the VK56 VD, so the, the DI engine, um, yep. running our biggest supercharger, the 2650. Yeah, originally the, the motor had a 2300 on it, mm. um, and we wanted to use it to release the 2650, and I thought that's what I want to go. Doing rods and pistons in a VK56 not very common in Australia, but certainly in the Middle East, I know it's like doing an LS engine for us here, so it's good boost protection to have an upgraded forged rod and piston. Yeah, well, I haven't heard anyone doing rods and pistons here in Australia. Yep. Um, so I thought, well, why not be the first and put it in a car that's going to get everything. And the airbox, Steve, at Patrol Doctor does beautiful work and, and that big five inch snorkel, so there's no shortage of air being delivered. So let's take a quick walk around and Starting at the front, bar work, this winch obviously has to be pretty substantial to handle the GBM upgrade that the car's getting. We thought we want something nice and slimline and, and Razzler Engineering, which we do a lot of their bars. We said we want a raw bar and, and then we went into, into our shop as a raw item and we made the, the giggle pin winch fit. We got some great shots of a standard Y62 sitting next to this one, and the standard cars, what do they weigh? 2.7. 2.7. And this now is? 4.3. 4.3. So that process of taking a standard Y62 and chopping it and extending it, talk us through those steps. It started out basically as two cars. We lifted the body off, the body went off to Tin Man Fabrications. They cut it, did the chop on the doors and the, and the rear, rear wall. Then it went to a paint shop, uh, Amex Auto Body, mm -hmm. who are another great local company. They applied this absolutely magnificent Mazda Red. So thinking about the chassis upgrades, a key feature of the Y62 is the independent rear suspension, and you've actually retained that with the extra axle assembly. Yeah, so we, we actually extended this particular car, we, we've extended it in the middle, so we, act, we added an extra 350 mil in the chassis yeah. in, between the first axle front of the car to the rear. And yeah. then we've gone further back and retaining all the factory geometry with running another K-frame sub-assembly out of, out of the factory car and, and pushed it further back. Big wheel and tyre package, Andrew. Yeah, so fuel wheels, uh, 20 inch, 20 by nines, yep. with uh, Mickey wrapped in a Mickey Thompson Baja Boss in a 37, uh, 12 and a half, uh, 20. So looking at the guard, is that the standard profile? No, we've taken a little bit out of the guard, knowing that the 20s yep. generally, uh, the 37s actually do rub yep. on, on the guards, on, on turning circle. And the um, offset of these wheels? Positive 18. Okay. Yep. And that upper control arm looks pretty impressive. 
Yeah, we, we do plenty of those. That's, that's one of our key products that we, that we do um, and part of our GVM kit. So stepping past that magnificent snorkel, um, upgraded tow mirrors. Yeah, MSA mirrors. They're, they were on previous cars that we've had. They're, they're a great mirror, give us a good view. So. And side steps in-house? In-house, custom made, factory steps. I think this is pretty awesome, side pipes. Yeah, so obviously two sets of wheels, two sets of snorkels, two yep. sets of exhaust. And you're running, what sort of fuel and water capacity on board? We have 90 litres of water capacity. Yep. Uh, fuel at the at current stage is about 140 litres, so still standard point. Yep. Car left us for a month and went up to Mitz Alloy in Newcastle. So keeping us fully independent. So if we want to go and do the free camping stuff, then yeah. And all aluminium, so it's keeping the weight all down. Yeah, as light as we can. Yeah. That's a good size fridge. So and the drawer system. 130 litre Bushman fridge in it. And drawers and pantry with induction cooktop. And rooftop tent. Rooftop tent and, and uh, 270 awning from uh, 230. Um, keep oh, so that'll pivot from the front right around to the back side. Correct, yeah. 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 And then you've got plenty of room in the back here if you've got wet gear or rubbish or anything. You Firewood, just... all sorts of stuff. The suspension looks impressive. Talk me through it. Yeah, so billet arms, uppers and lowers in the rear, which can go into any Y62 because we're still in standard configuration with two sets of K-frames. And um, that, that's a production part for on track too, by the way, like it's in customer vehicles now. Correct, we've got them all around Australia and it's, it's part of our GVM kit, so we move plenty of them. And how do you approach the dampness for the rear here? So we, we decided conies yep. in there, with, incorporated with, with the AAA airbag. Do you envisage doing much towing with the rig? We've currently got a 21 foot caravan, which we yep. tow, tow yep. around a bit. So airbags make a big difference, allowing us to carry that weight. Impressively, mate, it started life as a TIL, so it's all about luxury. Yes, we wanted to keep it that way. We blacked out all the roof lining, which yep. is normally in, in a cream. The infotainment screen, they really need something like this from the factory, don't they? I think everyone in Australia has been hanging for something like this for a long time. Importantly, there's plenty of room in the back for the passengers, kids. Yep, three kids, DVD players, it keeps them entertained for a bit. The seats have been redone nicely. Did you have that? Yeah, B&B leather over in Caram Downs. Yep. We love great engineering and you've done a, an incredible job. I know our viewers are going to be incredibly impressed and I'm sure everywhere you take it, it's going to be something that's massively popular. So yeah, Andrew, yeah, thank thanks you. for bringing your no fantastic 6x6 spy. No drama. I'm glad to have you as part of this build. I mean, it's a real, real pleasure. We'll see you next time on the channel.